speech off. I just had to record this. This is Beverly. Um, we're out again on a Saturday morning, continuing our adventures. And it just blew me away that Gretchen and I are practicing. We turned down this um, street that is kind of an industrial street in our, uh, it's a mixed district neighborhood, meaning that it's mixed with businesses and nonprofits and homes and residents and townhomes and you know governmental buildings. So that's a mixed district. And uh, I love walking down here. And on Saturday morning, we're just doing our adventure. So Gretchen and I turned down this way. She must see a cat or something, maybe a dog, but I've got control of her. Gretchen, sit, sit, good girl. Um, she turned down this, well, I turned her down this, and we have not been down this street in probably, I'm going to guess, at least six months. We haven't been down this particular street, and Gretchen just hit every mark. Uh, I trained her six, eight months ago on the poles, and she just hit two poles meaning that we were going down the sidewalk. She was pulling very vigorously and she hit on a first pole. And of course I have my clicker with me. And when I realized what she was doing, she remembered this from eight months ago. I, I know we have not been down this street. We just don't have any reason to go down it. And um, it's not on our regular walk and they're not businesses that, that I go down. When I first got Gretchen right across the street there, she got totally disoriented my first outing out with her by myself and a really nice guy came out helped me said i'll help you get to the intersection and he walked with gretchen and i all the way up to the intersection and um he you know then explained that he helped disabled people hunt so he was quite familiar with helping you know working with and he just happened to be at a business and Gretchen and I just happened to be wandering around because she was on the other side of this street and I, you know, I didn't know exactly where we were. Um, now we're right here at this pole, which she just marked again. And uh, I'll see if we can go forward. If I can record this, it's, uh, I really need to keep my, my focus on her. So if I stop the recording, it's because, you know, I really have to focus on her, especially when we're out like on this Saturday morning in our adventures. Um, this again is exploration. And, it, and it's kinda, it can get really, really scary. Um, Cause if you think you know where you're going and you don't know where you're going, and then you think suddenly, oh my gosh, my worst fear is being in the middle of the street. And then uh, this is her other pole. Excellent, Gretchen. Oh my word. Okay, here we go. I don't have my clicker in my hand that I'm gonna give her a little snack. Excellent, Gretchen. Excellent. Good girl. She has not done this route. And this, this is a, um, it's a, it's a square beam pole. So that lets, you know, I mean, it's a square beam, which is a, a like a mm, 10 by 10 stuck into the ground and I think it has probably a sign on it that says rescue squad or something I don't know anyway that's one of her landmarks this is she is so smart she's so smart and uh, so it can get it can get kind of scary because you can think that she knows where she's going just like now you can see there's cars here and I let this car go she stopped me I could hear the car going across this driveway and uh, come Gretchen forward forward um so see this is an industrial area uh, lots of places to go uh, lots of places for cars to come in and out and then right up here there's a parking lot uh, i shouldn't call it a parking lot it's an alcove where people park perpendicular to the sidewalk and the only way they can park really without going smashing into the uh the building front is to kind of park with their bumpers over the sidewalk. And uh, she and I have had trouble with that a long time ago. <laughs> like I said, it's been eight months. So I think we're under the alcove because I can hear it echoing. And uh, this happens to be a place that I'm familiar with. But uh, 
Gretchen, is this Miss Denise's office? It is awesome. Oh my goodness, this is like the first place I trained her to go when I got her over a year ago. I have a friend who works in here and this is her office door that, that opens right out onto the sidewalk. So Gretchen remembered me going to, oh Gretchen, that's so good girl, good. Now we're gonna go forward and find our last pole. Now the last pole is the most <laughs> important one because it, it hits us up here at the intersection. Um, and if we go too far, we will cross a street where there's no return. So let's find our pole. Let's find our pole. No, no. Is this a pole? No, that's not a pole. That's not our pole, Gretchen. No, we're not going over to see. Can we go forward? Let's go forward. Come. Hey, Sherry. How are you? I'm doing good. Okay? We're just doing a little training. Okay. I'm just watching you. Good. You have a good weekend. You Thank you. Good girl. Good girl. I know you wanted to go see Sherry. Oh my goodness. That's a friend of mine. Another friend across the street. So although I said I don't go down this street, I've got two friends that actually work on this street. And uh, good girl. Good girl. Gretchen, where's your poem? Where's your pole? Where's your pole? We're crossing over a uh, driveway. Sometimes it's it's blocked with, with cars. Where's your pole, Gretchen? Where's your pole? Where's your pole? Where's your pole? Where is it? Where's your pole, Gretchen? Let's find your pole. Oh, you want to go this way? I don't think we found the pole, but I think she found the sidewalk, which is our whole point. Good job, Gretchen. Now, if we can continue this way, we're going down a sidewalk underneath another pavilion. I'm hoping we're, that we're on the sidewalk. I think we're in the parking lot. Good girl, Gretchen. Good girl. Oh, right now we're under a pavilion. I can tell because to me it gets darker. My uh, sparkles go away and it gets dark. Uh, well, there are sparkles in my. <laughs> in my darker shadows. Um, anyway, that was just super. That was just a super experiment. And um, you know, it, it, get, it does get scary sometimes. And you have to step out there, even if you're frightened, even if you're apprehensive, even if you are scared. I think people that, I'm gonna focus here, forward. I think people that are doing something that is a risk in any way, which, you know, whether that be driving a uh, vehicle, uh, driving a boat, um, flying a plane, or walking blindly trusting in a dog, you know, I think that you're going to have some apprehensive feelings. Uh, some days, just like anything else, just like with anyone else, some days those, those feelings are stronger, some days they're, they're non-existent, and that's just human nature, so, anyway, I thought I would, uh, <laughs> I thought I would video Gretchen doing some awesome work as we continue to explore on our Saturday morning, and I uh, hope you all have a great day, bye everybody.